if we've had any, you know, time with, with, you know, social time was always with people in the business. It was just a hundred percent, one hundred percent focus on building the business and nothing else for five straight years. But our income went from our first year we made eighteen thousand dollars part time. Second year I made thirty five thousand dollars full time. Third year I made eighty six thousand dollars. Fourth year I made four hundred nine thousand dollars. My fifth year we made eight hundred fifty five thousand dollars. I remember hearing a story, Hector, maybe you could tell, tell everybody about, I remember you talking about being at a little retreat or something with, with Rick Susie or something. Mm -hmm. And you were telling them that, you know, you were going to be successful and you were reading all these books and yeah, yeah this, you, that's, you remember going on that little, yeah, oh, absolutely. Totally remember like it was yesterday, you know, we, 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 they wouldn't allow, um, our spouses on these retreats. So it was just Rick and I, we, we roomed in the same room. And we used to, were talking, we were both wanted to be successful. We were thinking about buying real estate, you know, that sort of thing to do anything to just try to get out of, you know, to, to be successful. And now Rick is my number one, most successful person I've ever produced makes a couple million dollars a year. And, um, but we started there thinking about it back then. This was like in 1979 or 80. It was a long time ago. And, um, yeah, that was definitely, that definitely, I, I I think, I mean, did, did you ever have like a, was there an aha moment? I mean, for you in your life, I mean, maybe growing up or just at a point in your life, did you ever have that moment where you just said enough is enough of being average and ordinary and you just wanted to take your life to that next level? Well, yeah, I mean, I always wanted to be successful. You know, I, 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 I was always very motivated and very disciplined and, um, I, you know, wanted to do, I just didn't know what that was, but there was an incident that happened when I was in the jewelry business. I had, um, I had, it was my son, Dak, who's now just turned 40 as you just this, this month, actually, he's 40 years old, has two little boys doing really no great. Way. So, but, but he was turning five and I asked, uh, I was, uh, there's a company called William Pitt Jewelers in Southern California. And I asked Steve Robbins, who's the owner of the company, if I could have three hours off for, my, for his birthday. We're going to have a birthday party and have everybody over our house. And, you know, I have a big family and it was a big celebration. Age five is a big birthday. And he told me, no, you can't go. I need you to be there because if you go, if you're not there, uh, I'm going to lose money. So, no, you can't go to your son's fifth birthday party. Can you imagine somebody telling you that? I was so angry, so livid. I, I made that was the moment that right when that happened, I said, there's no way I'll ever work for somebody again as long as I live. I don't care if I have to work 16 hour days, seven days a week. There's no way I'm working for another human being, allowing them to have the power to tell me if I can attend an event uh, that my child was involved in. And so that was that was it. I did. I made that decision right then. So then I had actually already, somebody had already tried to, you know, had already rec recruited me into the Prime America at that time. And I just called him up. I said, you know, I know I haven't done anything. I haven't gone to any meetings. I hadn't done any sales. It had been months, actually. And I said, I'm ready to get started. And, and uh, that was in January of 1984. And I just, from that point on, it took me about a year. And then I went full time. And, and a lot, you know, there were kind of the rest is history. But so, so what, what would you say to people that right now, I mean, when, you know, when is that, when is there a good time to go full time? I mean, what would you recommend to someone that's kind of out there right now thinking, I want to go full time in the business? What, where should they be financially? Where should they be mentally? What, what advice would you give them? Well, the number one thing is I, I look at is what's their work ethic like? Because if they don't have strong work work ethic they shouldn't ever go full-time uh, the second thing is can they close are they able to get results on their own by themselves can they recruit people can they close transactions can they train somebody and then um the other thing is if you know if, if they should have some money set aside because you know think it's up and down in the beginning i think you should have at least three to six months of your of your expenses your home expenses, whatever, set aside just in case you have a rough month or something like that. But after that, if you meet those, those, those things there, I think you should go for it. 
you should go full time. The, the biggest reason why people don't go full time is they don't believe that they can do it. That, I mean, that's how, that's how I would yeah. do it. That's how I always did it. That's, that's the thing I recommend. I, I never, I never t- try to talk people into going full time person. I know some people do that. I never did that. What I did is I prepared them to go full time. I made sure I taught them how to close, how to prospect, how to set appointments, how to do a great presentation, how to overcome objections, how the product works, how to recruit somebody at a kitchen table, and how to get somebody off to a fast start. If they know how to do those things, they should go full time. Yeah, totally agree. I mean, I, I think, I mean, I looked back when I went full time, it was only because I knew what I was doing. Yeah. And, and the way I knew what I was doing is I, I studied the material. I mean, I right. took your, I took your scripts. You had lots mm. and lots of scripts back right. then. Mm-hmm. I, I listened to Tom Hopkins for right. six months straight. I didn't listen to radio. I didn't watch TV. We, we actually, me and karma had our, uh, we, uh, we turned off our TV for three years. We have no, we had no TV for three years. Just smart. And so we just put our head down. And mm-hmm. so tell me about like you and Jan, you know, what kind of decisions did you make early on to just get this thing done? Like just get it done and over with what, what decisions did you make? Well, when we, when I decided to go full time, uh, we sat down and we said, okay, we're going to make a five year commitment, 60 month commitment. We're the well, same thing. We stopped watching TV. We stopped doing anything that didn't revolve around building our business. Every single thing we did for that first five years revolved around building a primary business, whether it's, you know, we didn't go on vacations. We didn't, uh, we, and if we had any, you know, time with, with, you know, social time was always with people in the business. It was just a hundred percent, 100% focus on building the business and nothing else for five straight years. But our income went from that first year, we made $18,000 we part-time second year. I made $35,000 full-time third year. I made $86,000. Fourth year, I made four hundred nine thousand dollars, and in my fifth year, we made eight hundred fifty-five thousand dollars, and we were still living in a track house. Thousand dollar month came in, no car, no car payments. We were really kept our budget really low. I saved about a million dollars, and that was you know from that was night at the end of nineteen eighty-eight. We were debt, not debt free, but almost debt free, and we're totally financially independent after five years of just total unadulterated focus. Most people don't do that. They're, they're, not, they're not focused. They don't make a total commitment. You know, I, I, I made a, we made a, both of us made a total commitment. And so by doing that, people could see we we're very serious. They could see we we're there for them, that we weren't going anywhere. And we didn't have any problem recruiting and main, retaining people. The right people stayed on board. And, you know, from there, the rest, you know, just kept growing. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.